And we are back with the one and only Nadia Buari. Thank you so much once again for taking the time to speak with us. Now let's get to the juicy stuff. Okay. So the Bonds used you. Uh, he, he, called, he, he was talking about you in, in his song, Oliver Twist. Now tell me, you really don't drink Gary? <laughs> <laughs> I think you're like um, the zillion person that has asked me this question. We, this question. I, I just want to know. Do you? <laughs> Okay, first of all, I'm African, so I definitely drink curry. I mean, <laughs> but um, I think when I listened to that track, I really liked it. I think either it probably meant more than what, you know, you heard, or he just wanted to rhyme, you know, like Barry and Gary. Gary. You know? <laughs> I mean, either one of them, but I do drink Gary. How do you drink your Gary? I, I want to imagine you because I can't. I can't imagine it. How do you drink your curry? What with, with how do you make it? Like how anyone makes it. No, there are different ways in drinking curry. How do you drink your curry? <laughs> water, sugar. That's how you drink it, right? Curry. Yeah, no, with water, cool. sugar. Some people add kuli kuli milk. What's kuli kuli? Oh, don't worry. That's not cutting oh, okay. Nigeria stuff. Okay. Don't even okay. worry. Coconut. Okay. Well, I, I mean, yeah, yeah. I could put in peanuts um, <laughs> to make it really <laughs> delicious. Put in a lot of milk. A lot of milk. <laughs> That's it. She does drink curry. I she do drink curry. Yeah. She drinks curry. <laughs> so um, tell me, what is the, the, the best part about being a celebrity? What is the not so good part about being a celebrity? Um, well, the best part is, well, obviously you're famous and you get contracts to be brand ambassadors and all of that. And, um, and you're working, enjoying what you're doing, but you're making money off of it, you mm -hmm. know? Um, I think that's pretty much the best part. I mean, there's, there's, there's a lot of good parts about being a celebrity, but... One of the cons. Yeah. The, the cons, um, basically, your privacy is taken away from you. Mm -hmm. um, that's one. Um, two, you're, you're really not yourself. I mean, you're, people expect you to be a certain way. You know, you're being criticized every time. You're being judged, you know, even when you didn't mean whatever you said or whatever you did or mm -hmm. you know people are just always criticizing you you know and that's yeah. what do you think is the biggest misconception about you oh that I'm arrogant um, yeah basically that I think that I'm arrogant I'm not friendly I'm stuck up you know it's very standoffish yeah. yeah I get that every time every time I don't know, it's, it's the quietness. It's the quietness. And you're very quiet. I am. And a lot of people can misconstrue that. But I mean, yeah. you, what are you going to do? Yeah, yeah exactly. You can only be yourself. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm trying now because I, I think it's, 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 it's very problematic, but yeah. I'm trying so much harder now to break away from that. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm trying. It's not in me to walk into a room and start making conversations with people. It's not, I mean, it's not who I am. Right. But I'm trying so hard to not be so shy and not mm -hmm. be so reserved now so people can because, quite frankly, a lot of people judge a book by its cover, yeah. you know? So it's, right. it's, 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 it's how you portray yourself, you know? Yeah. And I really understand. So that's why I'm- Do you have a Twitter? I do. I'm on Twitter now. I started Twitter because of my brothers. You know, they were like, well, Twitter is really funny. My mom, you know, my mom was the first person to get on Twitter. Your mom I got know, on right? Twitter yeah. before you? <laughs> before me. <laughs> she was the first person Shaking to get on Twitter. Head. I know, right? <laughs> and then my brothers were like, Nadia, you really need to be on Twitter because I'm not a social network person. Yeah. You know, I, I rather do my little BBM thing, you know, because then I know I can control it. I can yeah. control the number of people that I have on my contacts right. and all of that. And how many people do you have on your BB? <laughs> Please, I really want to know. <laughs> I'm so serious. I'm not going to say it, but it's not that a lot. <laughs> it's not a lot? <laughs> no. That's good. Yeah, but I'm on Twitter now, and I get to interact with my fans and all of that, and it's really exciting. I didn't know Twitter was that cool. I don't have a Twitter, sadly. I, I need to get on that 
train. Okay. I need to hop on that train. Yeah. I, I don't have a Twitter. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I, I'm a Facebook person. I don't understand oh, the Twitter thing. Okay. Well, Facebook. Um, I started with Facebook. I had a, a pay, um, a fan page, yeah. but I realized that there were too many naughty boys. You know, I would click on naughty boy, and I would see like over twenty or fifty naughty 20. boys. You know. And um, I'm always thinking, how are people going to know it's I'm the real person? Right. You know? So I just like totally ignore that. And then went on Twitter and realized that I had fake accounts on Twitter as well. You know, wow. yeah. But I think now people are believing that I'm on Twitter now. Yeah. 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 But I will get on Facebook pretty soon because of my um, the construction of my website because my site builder asked that it was a necessity to have a Facebook account. Mm -hmm. So I will definitely get on Facebook. So, what is the worst, like, the worst rumor you've ever heard about yourself that just kind of hurt you and you're just like, I can't believe this. Um, like, maybe I'm in the wrong profession. Um, well, first off, I heard so many. Um, but I think the, the one, one that, that got to I you the most. It didn't really get to me. Mm -hmm. It was hilarious in the beginning, but... Um, I think it was a it was a supposedly sex tape that was made of me. Okay. Yeah. Um, it was it was from a porn site, and it was. For, I mean, I was in my hotel room. I was filming, mm -hmm. and in the morning when I woke up, I was my, with my mom, yeah. and um, I got the 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 link, yeah. you know, from a friend on BBM, and then she was really shocked, and she was. She was all devastated, and I'm like, chill out. Wait, hold on. I mean, it's really early. Why are you sending me this link? Like, I really don't need it, like, now, yeah. you know? Yeah. And then she goes, that's you. I'm like, huh? wait, hold on, who? You know, like, wow. it was really hilarious, and I showed it to my mom, and we laughed it off. And the next day, it was all over. And I was like, I mean, wow. And the reason it got to me was because I think it had gotten to companies that I had endorsed their yeah. products and they yeah. were really concerned, you know. So I really needed to let people know that it was some, I don't know who, somebody that just made that up, you know. I mean, first of all, when you watch that, there's a point. Yeah. I mean, automatically it's a point. Yeah. And then underneath it is the link to it. You know, so I'm thinking, why are people not even, when you watch it closer, you know it's not me. That's not even yeah. me, you yeah. know. Like, I'm watching it, I'm looking at it and laughing, you know. Yeah. But, I mean, I think that was the one that really got to me because it got to a lot of people that yeah. knew me or had my best interest at heart, and it got to companies that I had worked with, you yeah. know, yeah. It, it, it can be difficult. So how did you resolve that situation? Oh, um, well, I just allowed my management to handle it. I mean, my, P, my PR was awesome. I mean, she had to do a lot of um, interviews. Usually I chill, you know, let them handle yeah, it. You, you don't give interviews very often. <laughs> I Thank don't. Thank you, but you get interviews right here on Golden Icon. I don't, I don't. You don't. Yeah, so I, my management handled that. And um, yeah, everything came out. People realized that it wasn't me. I mean, it's it's sad. It's you, really you, sad. You were gonna have a reality show. So what what happened with the reality show? <laughs> I was gonna have it. Um, and why did you want to do it in the first place? I wanted to do it first off because I have an incredible family. Mm -hmm. I mean, my father, bless his heart. I mean, I grew up watching him mm -hmm. do music videos and home videos and yeah. all of that. You know, so. Um, He's one character, yeah. and my mom is another character. My mm -hmm. mom is like the most incredible woman I know, and she's like mm -hmm. another character. And my my sister is my sister has a fashion line coming out. I mean, she has a clothing line coming out, and uh, my little sister is in a girl group. And my my brothers are into music and all of that. So I have different characters in my family, and I wanted the world to know what an awesome family I was blessed with. Yeah, you know. So that's really the reason I wanted to do it, and mm -hmm. it's not because. I mean, I was just doing it for reality, you know, yeah. no, it's just, but it didn't happen because we had to go our separate ways, not separate like in that way, yeah. but my sister had to go to school and my brother, ha my brothers had to go to school and my other sister was very busy in the studio working on her music and I was running around the world mm -hmm. doing my own little stuff, you know, so, mm -hmm. but finally, I think when we're all settled back home, I'll do it because I really want to do it. It, it. it seems you're a family-oriented person. Is that what keeps you grounded? Yes, I think so. I think, um, first of all, I really don't see myself as a celebrity. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm just 
at the end of the day, I feel like I'm just working, you know, doing what I love to do. And then when I go home, I have my mom and my family mm -hmm. that never even recognize me as somebody they see me on TV. I mean, yeah. we're just really a very normal family. And right. um, I think that's pretty much what keeps me grounded. Awesome. So here we are, 2012. What are your plans as far as the future is concerned for the Nadia Buari brand? Um, I really, more than anything, want to promote Africa, you know, through movies, through documentaries, you know, just let the Western world see the positive part of Africa. So that's pretty much what my plans are. I'm hopefully I'm going to have a production company where I can get to do that. And I can get to do my own movies and get to do my own documentaries and stuff. Yeah, and then um, I am blessed with this influence that I can use it as something very instrumental in a lot of people's lives. So I'm going to definitely do a lot of charity works. I mean, mm -hmm. I think that's one of the best attributes about me, my work ethics and um, my own wavery commitment to helping people in need. So that is definitely what I'm going to be doing. Most memorable moment in your career? Um, I would say is when I saved a little girl, a dying little girl, um, when I saved her life. Um, it's not just memorable, it's my most fulfilled moment. I mean, she, she had brain tumor, and um, the doctor declared her th that she had a um, few weeks to live, you know. And knowing that I could save that, I could be a part of saving that little girl's life, and now she's in school, very healthy. It's just memorable. I mean, it's fulfilling. Awesome. Yeah. So we have the five fun facts about Nadia, okay? And it goes really fast, and it's got to be on top of your head, okay? okay. <laughs> Are you ready? <laughs> Are you scared? <laughs> kind of no. nervous. <laughs> no, it, they're fun facts. Okay. They're, they won't hurt you. Okay. Okay. Ready? Mm hmm. So I gotta I say a sentence, you gotta complete it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm not Ivorari. You would find me eating. <laughs> <laughs> That's the point. You gotta think of it off the top of your head. Okay, okay. Let's do it again. <laughs> so stay tuned for more with Nadia.